Hey guys, welcome to the video tutorial about After Effects and uh, mostly master properties. Yesterday I was doing a, a tutorial called Face Rig uh, with Master Properties uh, from E.C. Abrams. Uh, lovely uh, tutorials uh, he makes. And he did a, um, this uh, Face Rig that you see right here. And he uh, had a, a cool feature that he controlled the mouth shape with... Um, uh, with the layer index. So uh, he got a slider here, mouth shapes, and if you move it up uh, to two, you get another mouth shape, and that's because line, so this this mouth shape called line, is at the layer index two, and uh, mouth shapes three is O, because uh, the layer index of O is three. Now, um, this is pretty cool, uh, but... Uh, you can't really uh, put anything on top of uh, these layers because then the layer index would will change. And if you give this project to another guy uh, who will work with this project, he doesn't really know what the mouth shapes are. So he doesn't know what, what three is only just by looking at this uh, uh, at the layers. Um, so I was thinking... Uh, can we do this with a drop down menu? Um, I looked it up and I don't think the drop down menu was actually uh, uh, EC Abrams couldn't actually use the drop down menu because it wasn't actually there. <laughs> so it's just a, it's a pretty new feature. Um, so today we are going to make this mouth rig with. Uh, master properties and a drop down menu so that's going to be pretty cool um, at a small script um, and I'm going to explain this to you okay so this face tutorial uh, pretty much the same idea that we had with his tutorial uh, we got the eyes uh, and we got three mouth, sh mouth shapes and we got some controls um, this is the control where the eye distance slider and the squint amount squint squint amount is so I'm not going to touch that but we are going to add a drop down menu so I actually looked it up here drop down drop down menu control you can find it in the effects I'm going to add it and uh, don't be alarmed by the uh, drop down menu control it's really easy to use uh, just go to edit and you can edit the items so the first item will be uh, O the second item will be line like the, the, the same um, as the layer names but it doesn't have to be the same uh, and the third one we'll call it smile and now we can actually um, click on these items and uh, click on a, a menu control and we can see these items so it's really uh, handy and now we're going to um, make a small script uh, for the, uh, the opacity of these layers so that only one layer will be will be revealed when we uh, um, uh, click on the uh, drop down menu control and click on one of the items. So we're going to lock uh, the uh, effects control from the control layer because we're going to reference the drop down menu control and we're going to the opacity of the first layer. And um, we're going to alt click on the opacity to start a script. Um, and first we're going to reference the drop down menu control so x equals and then we're going to pick whip the drop down menu control that's why I um, locked it drop down menu control really easy um, what this entire line actually says is x equals 1 at the moment because every item is a number and this is uh, the first item, so this is number one. So, okay, what are we going to reference? Um, and we don't want to, uh, or I don't want to use the layer index because I like to put my controls on top of other layers, um, but we are going to um, reference the name of the layer. So we're going to change the name of the layer, uh, hit enter, and I'm going to put one before uh, the layer. And here we're gonna put two, and here we're gonna put three. So now we have some numbers we can reference. Going back to the opacity, I want to reference, so another variable, y, 
um, I want to reference the name of the layer, dot, and here comes my Googling, sub, and I'm going to reference the first two characters. So zero to two, the first two characters, and I'm going to explain in a little, in a little while. Um, but the first two characters, so that's, in this layer, it's going to be one and a space, and the space will not be reg registered, so it's going to be one. That's great. Now, all we have to do is make an if statement. So if x equals y, so if the dropdown menu control is the same as the first two characters of the name of the layer, uh, then we don't have to type that, but we're going to put it in uh, parentheses, uh, if I'm correct. Sorry for my English. Uh, and then the opacity is 100, and else the opacity is zero. So that's the entire script. And if we're going to click uh, away from this, I hope it doesn't break. Yeah, so now uh, this opacity is 100 because we uh, uh, have the first item selected. If we're going to the second item, we see that the opacity goes to zero. So seems that our script is actually working. The um, the handy or the, the, the convenient part of the script is that it doesn't reference uh, or it reference uh, the name of the layer, but you don't have to change anything about the script. So you can just copy the script uh, and um, go to the opacity and paste the script here. Go to opacity and paste the script here, and you, do, you don't have to change anything, and now it just works. So if you click on a second item, it goes to line, and if you go to the third item, it goes to smile. Now, you, you, this is nice, but you might be wondering why are we actually uh, looking at the first two characters? Well, I was thinking maybe you want to put a lot of different. Um, uh, uh, expressions here, like facial expressions, and uh, it might go to 10. So if we're going to item number 10, which is, um, uh, I don't know, laugh, uh, how can we reference that if we're just looking at the first character? Now, if you're looking at the first two characters, you could add 99 uh, facial expressions, because if we're now going to edit and we're adding... 10 items, and this is laugh. Then, and we're going to pick laugh. You can see that laugh, laugh, is now at opacity 100 because it's the 10th item. Uh, so that actually works. Uh, so 99 facial expressions for you to uh, handle. So that's nice. Um, we can really easily add this to the uh, face tutorial expression uh, graphics. Uh, by right-clicking here and adding the property to Essential Graphics. And now we have the menu control, uh, um, menu X fa face, face expressions, uh, menu control, and now we can actually see what we're going to select instead of just um, using a slider for this. So that's really convenient. Um, and if you don't know uh, why we're going to the uh, trouble of using the uh, Essential Graphics panel, uh, I can really easily show you by adding a new composition. Adding a composition, sorry, I didn't name that. Uh, adding the face tutorial um, comp to here. And now if we're twirling down this layer and going to the Essential Properties, we can see that face expressions is here and we can actually click on the items. And uh, we can animate these. So um, as you can see, uh, uh, we can make different facial expressions with a drop down, which is really convenient. Thank you for listening. Well, thank you for watching. I hope it gives you a ton of inspiration and ideas for your future projects. And I'll see you later.